Hey, what's up everybody? This video is my dive the other day in uh, pretty rough water as you can see from the poor visibility. But I also wanted to use it as an opportunity to talk about the Milui community-based subsistence fishery that the land board approved earlier this month. Now this started back in 2005 when the legislature moved forward with the creation of the fishery area. I mean, look how long it's taken. 2005. Now, I'm a big supporter of conservation and protecting uh, the resources. As you can see from, you know, my videos, I mean, basically, we're targeting uh, non-popular uh, fi fish, and we're just taking one or two for dinner. So this area, y as you can see on the map, is a little over 12 miles and it's on the uh, Milo'i coast. I'm going to put a link to the PDF file in the description of this video. The only thing I don't like about these rules is the misconception about spear guns. So spear guns are disallowed in a number of the areas and I'm a firm believer that spearfishing can be the most sustainable way to fish. It's not the spear gun, it's the person. As you notice in our, my videos, I'm basically taking one shot or two shots and getting one fish. The spear gun is just a tool. The problem is not the tool, but how people use the tool. For example, l let's take one fisherman, and I'm also a fish from land and I do that probably more than I dive now let's take the example of one fisherman setting up five poles they that one person catches more fish than I do with my spear gun so which is more sustainable it's it's the spear gun if used correctly but if the spear gun is used incorrectly just like if people waste fish you know by putting out lots of poles and just throwing the fish away, that's also not sustainable. So, and th think of it the other way, is watch some of the videos of the really good spear fish fishermen who go out and three prong. The amount of fish that they lose is quite high. So if you shoot, you shoot with a three prong, and you, even if you hit the fish, you damage the fish, and sometimes the fish comes off. And of course it does with the spear gun, but it's less likely. So let's look at this particular dive here. This is, um, I think, my third drop of the day. And what I'm searching for is a Nenui. And the Nenui is, again, I'm just using it as a food source. So it's not on the list of restricted fish. I mean, there's a lot of them. And in this case, when the water is rough, you know, they're high in the water column, so I'm dropping down, and they're actually, it's hard to see, but they're actually past that rock. So I'm trying to call them in. Uh, the surge was really rough, and it was hard for me to, to stabilize, and they just weren't coming in. So I'm looking at taking a fish to take home, so on my left, there's some king cole, so I line up and I take the shot. So it's one shot. I hit the fish perfectly, stoned it, and um, unfortunately, my spear got stuck. So as you can see here, you know, how is this not sustainable? I'm taking one fish, one shot, and I'm pretty much done for the day. Here I'm trying to get my spear out and you know it, I was in the shallows and I shot it and it went into the rocks. So um, I'm going to breathe up and drop down and try to you know free my spear. You can see how rough it was. You see all the bubbles in the water. The waves are pushing me back and forth and um, I'm dropping down there in my uh, couple dollar Home Depot gloves. Uh, you can see how the shot was perfect, stoned the fish, and um, the waves kind of pushed my spear loose, so I was able to get my fish for dinner. 
Let's talk a little bit more about the regulations. I'm glad they did this in the area where I've chosen to call home. Uh, I really believe that we need this across the Hawaiian Islands, but we need to get real. I mean, wh why, did, why does this pass? Even after, since 2005, it took this long. And it's in an area that doesn't have a, a real big population because it's going to be difficult to do it when in the bigger cities, in the oceans off the bigger cities, even though we really need it across the islands. I hope more of this happens. But I really hope more of the people that are making spearfishing and diving videos, you know, it's not about how, how much you can fill your stringer with. Yeah, I know it's nice to, you know, show pictures of, you know, big collies and um, papillo on your stringer. But I think the thing about it is, look how beautiful the ocean is. You don't have to sh take the shot. There are fish there. You can pull the trigger. And, but it may be easy. Look at this Moano coming in. You know, you could, I could pull the trigger and fire, but do I need it for my dinner? I, I don't. What I do need is to be able to go out in the ocean and to experience this. To experience the beauty of the Hawaiian waters. To get the exercise. To be so close to the marine life and to be able to put food on the table. This is my last dive of the day. And look at how beautiful the ocean is. Look at the life out there. While we do need regulation, we do need more education, and we just need more people to appreciate what we have. And if you appreciate what we have, then you conserve what you have. It's not about exploiting the resource. It's not about how l much fish you can put on your stringer. You know, it's not about how many um, people click on videos because you shot a ton of fish. It's about the experience. So as we close out this video, I want to make it clear that I'm very supportive of the Miluli community-based subsistence fishery. I really do believe we need more conservation and if we need our government to do it, so be it. I really wish that we didn't need the government to do it, that we could just all get together and do it um, on our own as a community. But I want to close with that it's the problem is not the spear gun, you know, for example, how many videos or pictures have you seen of people filling up a cooler up with Mempachi? Do you know how hard that's going to be to do that with a spear gun? How many dives and how many shots you're going to have to take? So it's, it's, not, it's not the gun. It's what you do with the gun. It's the same thing. It's not the fishing pole. It's what you do with the fishing pole. And it's up to us to conserve and protect our resources for our kids and our grandkids. Thanks for watching. Please support conservation efforts and aloha.